Yeah, I'm uh, Peter Macarmuna from Yes Mom Fertility. I'm French American, born and raised in France. I moved to Thailand five years ago and previously had been a strategic risk consultant before transitioning into a new career in a digital health entrepreneur. So I moved to Thailand five years ago and um, started Yes Mom within a venture builder called Santora Nakama. And that had a uh, French Thai co-founder, Nathan Maduko. Uh, and together we built a company with the aim of empowering women with the knowledge and tools to learn more about their body uh, and to have greater agency over their own uh, healthcare decisions and reproductive health. So at the time, there were very few platforms that we could reach customers and educate them about our products in the healthcare space. Um, so we built a digital app, a women's health application that's personalized content uh, based on uh, symptomatic data that they reported to us. Um, and the, the kind of use case for that was uh, women trying to track their menstruation or trying to track their ovulation so that they could conceive. And that tool has helped us to kind of reach hundreds of thousands of women in Thailand and, and now globally uh, many more to educate them about their body, to educate them about our products and services as well. We are currently, uh, our, our product that's in the market is a uh, blood testing kit that allows us to deliver uh, laboratory tests directly to consumers at home. And this is a very novel concept in this part of the world, even though it's quite uh, prevalent in the United States and in Europe. So through these kind of digital tools, we've been able to reach the customers and educate them about the tools available to them and products available to them to take control of their health. I mean, we're, we're a 100% digital company. We have a physical touch point that is a, a blood collection kit, but our product and service is all uh, online. It's all digital. And the way that we access uh, the customers is not through any kind of retail outlet. It's through our own digital products or through partners uh, in telemedicine. So we are 90% digital company. Uh, we innovate by creating healthcare products. So our digital products take laboratory results and give clinical interpretation of what those lab results mean and give context and the implications of those results on a person's health and women's health in particular. So uh, coronavirus was uh, devastating for a few months. It completely shut down our business. Uh, we were conducting a lot of uh, in-person blood collection at the time, but the biggest disruption was in our supply chain. We weren't able to access some of the medical equipment that we required, particularly like specimen bags, and our laboratory partners were overwhelmed responding to coronavirus. So we were essentially out of business for three months uh, until the supply chain was able to catch up with us and our labs were able to, to service uh, our needs again. At the same time, in the longer term, it's been very positive because we've seen an increase of adoption of uh, digital health and the, the acceptance of consumers of digital health. And we're very much uh, in line with telemedicine uh, and we have a lot of telemedicine partners. So it was a transitional year. Uh, it started off pretty rough and it's, it's been wonderful since then. So I think we, we will continue to develop digital products uh, for health and pursuing women's health. We're, we're developing tools around uh, perimenopause and postmenopause, uh, heart health, and, and a number of other health applications. What I think we need to do is find new innovative ways of, uh, of reaching new customers uh, and, and educating them about these products and services. So doing a lot more video content and looking at a lot more digital tools to access them.